What's up, YouTube? Stiller Cylon. We're back with another game use pickup here. Um, got a one set of cleats. I bought this on an eBay pickup from a guy who was selling um, them. Didn't know what game they were from. Tried to contact him about it, and uh, he just said it came from a photographer on the team in the uh, you know mid 2000s to like 2010 era, and that's all he could really you know uh, all the information he really had so I ended up buying the three things he had which was another pair of cleats and a issued autograph jersey game issued off for autograph jersey so I uh, just bought them and was hoping that they would be authentic and game worn or even practice worn they were a really good deal so uh, I just you know took a shot pulled the trigger and Figured I'd look them for them later. At the time, I looked through a couple games, couldn't find anything matching these cleats. So uh, after a couple months, I didn't even look. They just stayed in the box. I messaged the guy and asked if he, you know, could help me look for them. Uh, the guy on Twitter that I talked to about a lot of game use stuff, and he was able to photo match these shoes. And this ended up becoming my holy grail to my collection immediately. He said, you're really going to like this, and he sent me these pictures. So, as we get into that, I'll show you these pictures. But we got James Farrier autographed game use cleats. And these cleats are from Super Bowl 40. Photo matched this set of cleats right here and I'll show you pictures of everything but we photo matched that you'll see those in the pictures but he photo matched that and helped me out got some uh, little blue marking there nice scuff marks I think I saw a red mark somewhere yeah there's a, some red marks they almost look like blood marks. But this ended up becoming a quick holy grail to my collection. I'm the first set of Super Bowl things I've ever owned. And I don't know if I'll ever own any more, honestly. So, uh,. Very, very nice pair. I'll be taking these to the grave with me. And I gotta get a nice display made up for these. Something something insane gotta be you know, used for this. So uh, if you guys got any ideas on how to how to frame these, I don't know if I should frame them or put them in a nice case with some things. I was going to go with the case, but then I was like, you know what, it might deserve some kind of crazy frame. But uh, I'll include pictures with this. I don't have much to say because, you know, you're pretty much lost for words when you get something like this. I don't even know what a price of Super Bowl 40 cleats would cost, but the price I paid definitely was not Super Bowl 40 cleats. And there was a little note in here. I think I took it out. There was a sticky note in here asking to get... <laughs> it seemed like a note asking to get a certain price for these, which was nowhere near what I paid for them. And in fact, it was like $500 less. So, even that price that was in this shoe would be not what I would expect Super Bowl 40 game winning cleats to be. So, I hope you enjoyed this holy grail to my collection. And, uh,. Let me know what you think. I mean, uh, like I said, I'm at a loss for words to own something like this. I'm very happy to own this. A nice piece of history. Uh, if anybody else owns any other Super Bowl uh, memorabilia, please list it in the comments. I'm interested to know what you paid for it or, you know, how much, you know, how you got it. Because, like I said, you don't just see Super Bowl winning stuff come out for sale that often. But again, I'll, I'll list the pictures. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm interested to hear how you would uh, 
frame these up or display these nice pieces of history. And that's all I got for you, YouTube. As always, make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.